Good morning, folks. Welcome once again to another episode of the Weekly Car Guide. For today's episode, even though I know the last video that we just posted, obviously, it was also showing the fact that we had just gotten the uh, the Tesla Model Y. It's been a little bit of time. Obviously, we made some videos. It's, again, we're playing catch up right now. So the reality is that we've had the car now for about a year, more or less. Um, since, uh, yeah, it's actually going to be about a year or so. We're going to be actually showing you guys today how to change the AC filter inside your Tesla Model Y and it also applies to the Model 3. All right, so stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it shortly. All right, folks, so like we mentioned, we're going to be showing you guys today how to basically replace your AC filter inside your Tesla Model Y, Model 3. Um, again, um, you can see my helper here, Luca, is actually holding the filters. Um, so we will be showing you guys actually these two units, two filters. Um, so you can basically order this from Amazon. You can order it from, from Tesla directly. In our case, this time around, we actually ordered the rest from Tesla. Price difference was very insignificant, so we went ahead and go by that route. Uh, but again, there's multiple options out there in the market that you can actually use. Um, so one of the things that I do want to show you before I actually get into the vehicle itself is the fact that I want to show you is the fact that, um, for starters, just have that as a reference point here. Basically, the arrow is basically pointing that's for the airflow direction. So the intent really for this is as you're putting inside the vehicle, um, even though uh, intuition will tell you put it with the arrow facing in because the AC is coming in, right? It's actually the other way around. It's actually pushing the air out because you're actually circulating the air in the cabin within the cabin, right? So now if we zoom out a little bit, right? You're gonna show you also as well the fact that as you can see, the filter itself has right here, it has a tab reason being is when you're actually dropping in the filter there's two of them one goes on top of the other so one will go in will drop down then the second one will come right on top of it and it will drop right above like this so reason being is when you need to take it out you need to be able to pull the filter out you start to pull it out this one up and out all right so again we're going to show you guys how to do it inside the actual vehicle but we want to give you guys a little bit of reference point before we actually jumped in there to actually do it all right so let's go inside and show you guys how to do it all right guys so as you can tell here uh, we've taken actually the rug out of the, 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 the mat, out of the floor, and the seat all the way back. So the intent is that we're going to be taking this entire panel out. So this is just clipped on. So if you pull it actually from the back corner right back there, it should actually peel right out. So let's see. Like so. It has clips. Of course, just be careful as you're pulling it not to break them. So you want to be able to put them back in. That's here. Oh, made out of plastic. Again, you want to make sure that you don't break, break any of the clips along the way. You just need to be able to put them back in. And again, everything's just the clip on. None of it is actual screwed on. So, let's see here. This one here tends to be a tough one. It's actually part of a long piece. So try to stick your hand behind it. So you're actually trying to pull as evenly as you can, just like that. And there you go. So as you can tell, you took the panel off. And that's what you're gonna have back there. Put this off on the side. So as a matter of fact, you wanna show you guys here. This is the back of the panel itself. So you see all the clips that are there. This is basically what's holding it in place. So one of the hardest ones to pull out is actually the ones back here, these two. All right, so you gotta be very careful. As a matter of fact, on this one, the piece, as you can tell, actually stayed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and put it back on the piece that's needed. Like so, all right, so when you put it back in, you'll be able to slide it back in, all right? But in essence, this is what you're doing. You're taking it all out. You're gonna notice these are your mounting points here. This is where they go clipped on, here, down here, and in here in the metal, all right? All right, so once we take the panel off from the side, we're gonna have to remove this panel from here. And depending on your year model, this is a 2020, 2022. On the 2020s, the design was a little bit different. You did not need to remove that. Some people have done it without removing it. Some people have not, but then again, we're gonna go ahead and remove it just to make it a lot easier for us. So you're gonna notice here, we have some of these uh, plastic clips. Uh, the other thing you have to do is just pop them up like this. If you have one of those trim removal tools, it makes it a lot easier, uh, but again, you should be able to just do something as simple as this. Uh, you notice another one back here. Okay. Go ahead and move them. There it goes. There it goes. All right. 
once this comes down, you don't have to disconnect anything. The reality is that you can just move everything off to the side. You gotta be very careful because you guys are gonna notice. I mean, this car is a computer. Let's zoom in really, real quick. And you're gonna notice. See back here, it's part of your computer system. In fact, you're gonna notice it's even fiber. The little flashing light back there. So that's all your data communicating right now. Again, so you're driving a very fancy computer. Right. So this is the bolt that we're gonna be removing. The one back here. That's a T25 or a T20. Uh, let me go ahead and get a tool for that and we'll start removing it and the filter should be right behind this door all right and on the top section there's just a spring-loaded uh, clip so take this one off it'll lift and slide out all right so here we go we have our t20 here so we'll go ahead and put this through like so Sure, that when you're taking it off, you hold on to it so it doesn't fall behind. So you can see the cover came right off, it just slid right off. So, this is basically the edge that goes on the clip. So, literally, just goes up through and that's it. And here are your filters. So, this is the little tabs that I was talking to you guys about. Now, you guys can see it on the camera. So first one on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it like so. They're very flexible, so remember, you pull them gonna feel that way uh, one thing that I did forget to tell you guys is to turn off your AC as you're doing this work make sure that the AC is not running in essence this is your filter doesn't look half bad all right and let's take out the second one so again you're using this tab to pull up and slide out A little dirtier I you feel a bit of that moisture down here it also gives you that funky smell and a quick correction they're actually facing the cabin I mentioned to you guys it was away from the cabin but I guess in the Tesla it's towards the cabin all right so again pay attention to the arrow this tap facing up and you're gonna have to squeeze it in there like so And it's just gonna drop just make sure that as you're pushing it in and it drops it drops evenly like so okay and then we'll put the next one right on top of the other one but my recommendation make sure that you're holding this tab pushing it down like this so it's sliced on top of it so you still have the tab available Gotta play with it a little bit so they'll go in and that's all there's to it put this tab down both filters are in so you can get inside there real quick so you guys can see all right so both filters go right back in position one on top of the other and now we're going to go ahead and put the cover So this is the tricky part. So this little side, this little clip right here, has to slide into the right position on the top. And technically, you can't really see it. So you need to feel for it like that. There we go. Then hold it with one hand. And then with the other hand, start putting in the screw. Once again, take your T20. Nice and tight, and that's all there's to it. All right, and that's how you change the AC filter on your Tesla Model Y and Model 3. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the AC real quick. Just to make sure nothing sounds loose. The airport feels normal. And you're good to go. Basically, you gotta put all the stuff back together, and placing it all back together is just a reversal of removal. And you're gonna notice you have a couple clips here and there. 
sure. You don't break anything. Keep in mind that everything on this car is plastic, so <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and put this clip back on. Or okay. back. back in so your old ones go ahead and toss them in the garbage ours weren't that bad they had a little bit of a funky smell that's why we decided to change them but not terrible and now we're going to go ahead and put the panel back on again like i mentioned to you guys just make sure you guys are lining up these clips the white clip where they need to go into each one of those holes Again, you shouldn't have to force them in too bad unless you line them up properly to so clip right in no issues one tip though for this center section here there's a bar that goes in that's a little thicker so you're gonna go have to make sure that you line those up properly that those have an issue lining up properly once you clip on the other ones so start with those first there those and then the rest should just fall into place There you go. Okay, make sure everything's in there. It has clipped. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, put together back a plastic Tesla. <laughs> all right, guys. So you guys saw it was extremely simple to replace. These are your old filters. Again, toss them, recycle them. I mean, check and see what the regulations are in your area. For us, honestly, they're just going to garbage. Uh, but again, it's a very simple process to do. We have our helper here, Luca, and Daniel behind the camera. You know, once again, finishing another project. But again, as far as tools are concerned, all you need is your bare hands, a flathead screwdriver, and a T20 core screw. And that's all she wrote. Thank you so much, guys. And remember, don't forget to subscribe for more episodes. Uh, and thank you for watching The Weekend Car Guide.